My sister, please introduce yourself and how you know the ministry. Okay. Good morning, church. Um, my name is Donata Kapangelo. Um, I know the ministry through my sister-in-law. Um, she invited, um, no, she told me on last week that um, we should come for prayers um, on Wednesday. So I was here for the first time on Wednesday. On Wednesday, this was during the 12 to 2 service. This is what our man of God was instructed by God to carry out. The service is called, Oh Lord, wipe away my tears. My sister, please share with us what has the Lord done for you? What is your testimony? Okay, so last week, um, no, not last week, but the, the week starts today, right? Okay, so two weeks ago, my son started getting sick. And um, he was having a fever, he was crying, he was coughing a little bit. Um, so now I don't really panic when my kids are sick. So I, because usually I, I treat them at home, I'm a medical doctor. So, but then I realized that it wasn't working. I was giving him antibiotics, I was giving him um, painkillers and, and anti um, medications for fever. But um, he wasn't getting better. Like we were not sleeping at, 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 at night. and. Um, on Friday, on Friday last week, um, uh, my um, my sister who stays with with him um, told me that no, the baby had, has a swelling on on the right, like uh, um, here, on the right, and um, she thought maybe it was the baby is, is teething. So I, I I didn't panic. So I just told her that um, okay, I'm telling the father to take the the, the child to to the, to the doctor. Because um, I was not at home, I was working. Um, they took him, and he gave him antibiotics again, and um, just painkillers and something for fever. But the fever would then go. If if you give him um, the medications, the fever would go, but it will come back again. And he was not eating like four days. He's not eating, and the fever is just not going. It's 39 degrees. When you give him medications, it goes down, but after a while, then it comes back again. And then on um, Saturday, he turned a year old. So like we didn't even have a celebration for him because he wasn't feeling well. Um, we didn't even cut his cake. On Sunday, he was still not feeling well. Monday, then I decided, okay, because the swelling now was getting bigger. And I realized that no, there's no teeth and it, it, it can't be, you understand? It, it, it looks like an abscess. So. I took him to the doctor, um, and then we um, just for him to refer us to to the surgeons because the because an abscess needs to be cut. So ha is, Hallelujah, Sister Tonata, please tell us what happened during the twelve to two service. What happened in that service? Okay, so uh, um, the baby was still hot. Like we were admitted at Medi Clinic, uh, he was better, and then I read. I just asked that we should go home. But that night we went home, he was um, back to having high fevers again and crying, not eating. So on Wednesday morning, um, my sister-in-law and, and my sister came, brought the, the baby here while I was at work and I followed up. That time he was very hot, like he was crying, he's hot and they took off all his clothes. And um, while we're on the prayer line, um, the man of God um, had the baby because the baby was crying a lot. And then um, he asked me to take the baby, to bring the baby to the altar. When I came to the altar, he, he took the baby himself and he knelt down. He was praying, he was praying, the baby was crying. Um, and he, he prayed until the baby stopped crying. Any sickness in this body, I cancel it. Lord, this child is too small to experience such pain. Deliver this child. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray. Don't leave this baby like this. God of Jeremiah, you never leave me. After that, um, he also prayed for me. Um, 
and he said, like, anyone that, that did not want me to be happy, um, to just back off, or, yeah. Hallelujah. Then, <laughs> Hallelujah. My sister, please tell us, were any of the anointing material used to minister to you? Um, yes. So after that, he, he said he wanted to bless the baby before we leave. And um, after he prayed for everyone else, we went, um, he called us, and he gave me the anointing oil. And then we also got the, um, the water. The anointing oil is the oil that he was, okay. The healing anointing oil. And this was the, the water. Okay, so when we went home, like after he prayed for him, he slept. Because remember, he wasn't sleeping. He was just crying the whole time. But after that, he slept. Hallelujah! My, my sister, you said you had evidence that right after the prayer, when you went home, the baby started to show signs of recovery. Can you please just show us? Um, so, oh yes, he did. Like he, I could feel that the temperature was going down. And then when we left here, when he left here, I, my sister and I dropped me off at work. And then they went home. She, um, she dropped off the baby at home. When I came back from work, um, he was sleeping. And then he, had, he was a little bit hot. And I gave him the water to drink. I put the water in his bottle. Like right after that, he started playing. I have I have videos of him playing. The fever went like from Hallelujah. that day. We never had to give him. Please celebrate Jesus. The baby, after experiencing this fever, not being able to eat constantly, crying, not being able to play, after our man of God prayed and she herself took faith by using the anointed water, giving the baby, feeding the baby and giving her to, him to drink, the baby started to play. And she's showing us the videos of how the baby just recovered because of how our father is anointed and ministered to a baby. Can you please celebrate the anointing of our house? As you can see, the baby is playing. Those that can see, the baby is playing in the video. And that is what our sister is saying the baby was not able to do because of the fever my sister what encouragement do you have to those that are watching you those that are here with you what advice do you have okay so i just want to say because um when we went to the to to get admitted at medi clinic we had the baby had a sauna before he was taken to theater but they couldn't see what what is like they were confused they don't know if it's really an abscess or if it's a lymph node um but then because they couldn't say what it is the swelling um, the doctor just had to take him to theater. When he took him to theater um, to like to cut open, um, he 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 brought the baby back. Like okay, fine. The baby was put to sleep, and, and they um, he examined, but they couldn't see anything. So he gave the baby back to me. He was like, no, he doesn't. He didn't do anything because he, there's nothing. But the swelling was there. And also, um, the man of God said the swelling would be gone by Sunday. So. Like on the first day we came here on Wednesday, the fever disappeared. He was playing, but the swelling was there. Was there. But today, the swelling is not there. Celebrate Jesus! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! As you can see, there is no more swelling on our baby's neck. Now, our sister, please give encouragement to those that are watching you. Okay. So I just want to say, when the doctor tells you that they don't see anything, because I'm a doctor, and when in the hospital, there are a lot of patients that we see, we, we have done all the investigations, and we really can't find anything, and the, the patient wants to get angry, or the family wants to get angry. But there's really nothing we can do. And just know that you must seek prayers. Hallelujah. <laughs> of God, go to a man of God because people also have this thing that no, I'm just going to pray for my own child but it doesn't work like that. There are people who are anointed. There are people who are called. So go to a man of God that has been called. God knew what he was doing when he gave us prophets, when he gave us apostles. So I thank God for, 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 for prophet um, Martinez. Martinez. 
Thank you very much. Hallelujah. We celebrate grace. Donata, we just, Sister Donata, we just pray that the testimony of your baby and the covering of your life is permanent in Jesus' name.